Hi guys, welcome to the webinars. Can you guys hear me so far? All right, okay. <laughs> okay, Um. let's just wait for a couple more minutes, okay, for everyone to tune in and then I will start the session for today. So, Basically, today uh, it's just a continue from past one for the harmonic uh, trading strategies. Okay, so I think today I will do a little bit of recap and then <laughs> and then we just continue with the slide. All right, you can ask me the question along the way. Okay. Okay, any one of you trading using a harmonic strategy? Anyone? And again, guys, um, this session we need to use a lot of Fibonacci. Okay, so um if any one of you guys um don't know how to use Fibonacci, and then you might get a little bit confused. Okay. Uh, this room is very cold, guys. I don't know why. Just give me one minute, okay? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right. Um okay. Oh, that's quite a number of people joining. Okay, by the way, how are you guys doing so far? Any one of you guys get a lot of money from gold or you guys like some of you guys lose a lot of money? You're cool. <laughs> no, in this webinar room the aircon is very, very cool. Yeah. Wow, that would be a wow. Okay, that would be very really cool. I think I need a sweater if I go there. <laughs> okay, guys, good evening from Singapore. Okay, so uh, my time zone is like five thirty p.m. over here. I'm a newbie. It's okay to join. Yes, of course. Everybody is welcome to join the webinars. It's just that um, if you don't know how to use Fibonacci and then you might get a little bit confused okay but everyone is welcome to join the webinars you can ask me anytime you want if you have any question okay <laughs> okay it's for go just to share um i think last week is it fridays i got stopped out because of go but lucky like you're not lucky that i usually i put my stop loss so that's why you know to protect my capital um i got stop out last friday not last friday the today is monday right two two weeks ago like when we have a news right we have the wars yeah i got stop out and then last week i stay away from gold and last friday i think i uh shot gold when it's at like one nine one nine nine seven yeah so i recover a little bit but last week it's just a lot to stay away from go it's just that friday at night and then i managed to like you know sell from at the level because when the price is almost reached two thousand right <laughs> okay so all right guys i don't want to keep you guys waiting because a lot of you guys rejoice okay let me <laughs> okay every time you need to put stop lot if you want to like uh you want to be a trader and for like the long term right you need to uh protect your capital all right guys thank you so much guys for joining uh, my webinars today so today again i'm going to talk about how many pattern okay that will be a recap from last webinars okay like past one today gonna be past two again guys as usual remember that everything in this um Video is educational in nature. Nothing should be uh, construed as investment or trading advice. Okay, if you guys want to trade, please do your own due diligence before you guys trade. Okay. Um, all right. Some of you guys already know me or maybe not. My name is Peggy. I'm a trade analyst at Ever Fortune Group. And I myself, I'm a prop trader as well. Okay. Um. Okay, so today, what I'm going to cover, you know, this um 
last no last uh webinar we already talking what about harmony so basically easy guy harmony is just uh we take harmony pattern is just for um uh uh reversal okay when you want to trade how many pattern is only we trade when the price is end ending the delay okay but if you very like at once already you can trade like a c leg if you if you very um uh know how to trade already sorry um for the prop trader <laughs> prop trader you can just uh google okay i will tell you later Anyway, there will be five how many pattern I already cover um bat crab butterfly shark gatle and cyber. Okay, so again guys, just a recap. Um let me just bring you guys for like over here. Let me just just a recap. Okay. So basically how many pattern? Okay, it's just the okay if i were to draw like that like uh, um i think i use my slide better to get a better idea okay so basically how many pattern it's just like a b equal to c d pattern okay you get what i mean because um how many pattern is either like um um like this is a m pattern which is x right a b c d or you see, if I were to draw X here, it's either the M pattern or the W pattern. Okay, just a recap, all right. Usually, let's say the C, I mean the C point is ending with 61.8 or 78.6. Usually, D point, it, it will equal the distance from A to B. Okay, like this. Okay, the next one. So, basically... A, B, C, D, how you get the D point? It's either you use, um, you can draw Fibonacci from B to C, and then you get the um, retracement, which is the D point, or you can use distance from A, B to the C, D. So what, that is, what do I mean here? Okay, so basically, like you know, um, like that. Okay, so you have. I think that will be. Uh, okay, A B C that. Okay, A B C. Okay, basically it's something like that. Okay, so how you get the, I uh, like the D the D leg, right? Either you can use. Um, I think it's easy for me to use this one. Okay. Either you can use to get the because sometimes I do the slide, you guys may not get the idea. Okay, just a recap. Okay, so B and then C. And then D. Okay. Okay, so just now I tell you that if C, yeah, so you have to take from A to B. Okay, here, right? Okay, here. If C is retraced 61.8%, right? Usually D will be ending with 61.11 uh, BT extension. So, okay, either one, you use, you measure here to here. I change to the black colors, line, thick one, okay. And then you move to here, and then you get the lead, D leg, which is, your D leg should be ending here. Or you use, BC extension, BC extension meaning you B to C here. Extension is one six one point eight. You get what I mean? Okay, guys. Ah, uh, you cannot see my screen. Oh, so so. <laughs> ah. Okay, where is my screen? 
Sorry, guys. I did not see any. Okay, okay. Again. Now you guys can see now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, let me just go back. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, anyway. Uh, I just say that um, today we're going to cover, um, you know, uh, like today going to be past two, okay, for harmonic trading strategy. So I'm going to recap because what about harmonic pattern? I don't want to go much in the detail, but basically we train harmonic pattern just for the reversal when it's ending with a delay. But if you are very experienced about harmonic trading already, you can start to trade, I think, when it's ending with C leg, like C leg, and then you can trade with uh, like D leg as well. Okay, so like I say, um, just a recap, okay. Um, okay, this is just a like um basic or foundation of the uh, harmonic pattern, okay, guys. Like A B equal to C D pattern. Actually, like you know, if I draw one here, you will get harmonic pattern already. But A A B C D, okay, and then I say that. Usually, if six one point eight retrace, which is a C, okay, if you draw from A, you can see retrace sixty one point eight percent. Then you can do B C extension, which is sixty one point eight percent B C extension, or you can use the distance from A B, and then you will get a D D point. Okay, so either if you want to get a D point, you can use um, you know. We'll determine like where you see retreat. Let's say if we trade six one point eight percent, and then D point usually will have uh extension uh one six one point eight percent BC extension which is from here to here, okay. Or six seven eight point six percent C retracement, and then D point we have one two seven point two. Okay, what I mean is that, okay, just now I will draw um the, the the chart right. So, I remove first. So basically, I draw X, A, B, C, D, right? Uh, a, B, C, D. And then how you get the D leg, which is, I say that um, C, if C retrace here, 61.8%, right? Either you want to get the D leg, okay? You can do the distance from A to B. You put here, okay? You will get the D point. Uh, okay, uh, the D point here. Or... You can use BC extension, which is here. BC extension. You can see 61.161.8% extension, which is the D point here. So, right. And then let's say if I draw here, what do you get? Actually, you one more here is the harmonic pattern already, right? You get what I mean? Here is... Um, yeah, so, and then, this one is a X. So, this is how many pattern, okay? So, and just now I say, if C, retrace, okay, here, okay, 78.6%, so which is here, okay, this one, no, okay? Okay, this one, okay, and see like here. And BC extension is one, two, seven, which is here. And then you get the D point. So basically, okay. And if you are to get the exact the distance from A to a, B, and then you get a distance from A, B, and then you get a D point as well. Okay, this is A, B equal to C, D, and then if I draw one leg, and then you will get the X, A, B, C, D, which is this uh, harmonic pattern. Where is my harmonic pattern? <laughs> like you see, X, A, B, C, maybe D. Let's say like that, this harmonic pattern. All right, so basically, X, A, B, A, B, C, D, and then I draw here and then you get harmonic pattern already okay okay now go back to our slide um, okay i this one you guys clear so far right okay 
go back to our slide just a recap okay okay again how many pattern there will be two how many pattern a recap okay what you can see here um there will be retracement which is gut leg and back and extension which is what does mean it uh, extension which is d point is always have to be go above x x point okay and retracement meaning d leg we call d leg not go beyond the x x okay x point here and always how many pattern c then you need to remember c leg cannot retrace or go below x oh sorry go below a a leg or a point here or a leg okay cannot go like all the way here and then go up here no okay if these are the rule that c always cannot um retreat below a um c cannot retreat uh, below a okay okay and i will show you how you find the prc zone okay okay now just a quick recap um bad pattern okay over here they say just in case a quick one some of you guys like me don't know how to draw right so basically what is my um bad pattern right okay over here they say okay i got it i will just draw like that right okay um i'm going to draw the um bullish okay i draw like x a b here maybe here like that i'll slowly explain for you x um oh, i should not leave it x okay Uh, A. B. C. And, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then D. Okay, so over here they say, I see, I try to, you, you guys give me one minute, okay. Um, uh, it's um, give me a sec. But... Okay, here, you guys can see, I think it's easy for me is put here and then I draw for you. I think it's better for like you guys to understand. You guys can see the word here, right? The uh, On the trading view here. Yes or no? I think maybe you guys can see. Can you guys see? Okay, yes. Okay, so the rule for the bat. So basically they say that B point, have to retrace 38 to 50 percent meaning you draw fibo from like x to a okay and then they say retrace between they said that retrace where is my okay here 38.2 here to 50 percent here okay here is the retrace area so here all right so then you get the b B uh B point here, okay. Mm. Okay. And how you get the C point, which is retrace of A B. Okay, I remove this one first. How you get the C point, which is you draw people from A to B, and then they say retrace between 38 to 88 percent. How you get that? Okay, so basically. Um, 
Okay, and until uh, I did not get the ectic, ectic is I have here. It's here, ectic percent. So meaning that in this box, okay, see, could we trade here? Could we trade 50%, 68 one or 78 or 88 point six? but cannot go above A. Okay, so in this case, I just put here at the select here. Okay, then you get the like, okay, here. Okay, what about the D leg? Okay, over here, they say that D point retreat up to 88.6% of XA. So how you get the D point here? So basically, you draw Fibonacci from X to A here. Okay, somehow I don't have to be, okay. What you can mean that they can retreat up to 61.8.6% or they can just retrace somewhere here like six um 51.8 or 88.6% cannot go below, below x okay so now in this case i just put 88.6% of x a okay so you get a d point here or you can use extension bc extension which is now i'm going to um find the prc zone okay or potential potential um what's that <laughs> oh, let me go back and see um potentially what's also okay how you get the b you can use bc extension which is b c extension which is one six one to six one point eight percent okay i already have bc ex extension here um no bc extension that would be one six one okay two okay now i'll just push here like that in this case what you can see here the bc extension okay it could be here so now your prc zone because in this case um it's retraced 88.6 percent so this your prc zone is here this is your PRC zone. Okay, this is your PRC zone, meaning that when the price come here, you will buy from this. Okay, you will put like either buy or you will put the pending order like buy from this one because usually the PRC, PRC zone is a Fibonacci confluence. Okay, so here they have like 261.8 or and then they have like somewhere 88.6 percent somewhere here. So this is your PRC zone, okay? And the um this is called bullish batch, okay? And the um the the wait my bad. Okay, the bearish batch is just a mirror of you know the bullish only. Okay, you guys clear about. Uh, I cannot see A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E. Hmm? A, B, A, B, C, D, E. Why you, why you want to see A, B, C, D, E? This is X, A, B, C, D. D. There is no E. E for me. There is no E. You mean here? A, B, C, D, E. There is an Iliad wave already. Now I'm teaching the um a harmony pattern harmony pattern only have s a b c d so um when it's ending the d leg then we want to um find the prc zone okay okay so now this is called um bullish bet okay so now what's about um alternate alternate uh what's about alternate bet okay let me see okay now i will show you the different here over here alternate bet what is different with alternate bet here so basically b point you can see here okay 
B point, um, like here, like the B point here and B point here. It's just different where is the uh, B point a uh, retrace, okay. And the C leg actually is the same 38.2 to 88.6%. It's just that, okay, now you list here, okay. They say that B, for the alternate bed, B have to retrace. Okay. From here to here. Okay, they say literate 38.2%, right? Over here. 38, 38.2%, which is here. Here. And then they say that the C extension is still the same, which is 38.2 to 88.6%. Then you just measure over here, A, B, okay. And then maybe you can get off it. And then you can see, okay, in this case, the um, retrace 61.8% is that okay. And over here, the difference between the D point, okay, if B retrace 38.2%, D point have to retrace 113% of XA. So basically, you draw X to A, um, I don't have the 11, 113, maybe I just put here. Okay, 113, okay. This is alternate, but your D point is here. Okay, D point of XA, you get 113. And then you can use um extension. I think you can use extension here. Alternate back BC. I do have the alternate back here. Okay. Alternate back here. No, I don't think that's correct one. That will be three one two. No. Sorry, this is the uh, projection here. Okay, they say that 200, two, I use projection, okay? Two, three, one, three, one, three, transfer by percent. That will be far, okay? So be here. So basically, you are, um, Potential reversal zone, I can use another um extension. Extension here. Okay, so here is my PLC zone here. Got my PLC zone here. Okay, so here is my PLC. So when the price come here, and then you can buy from here. Okay. Okay, PRC stands for um potential. PRC. Oh. So, so actually the pot uh, potential reversal zone actually is, you know, here. It's like um there is a lot of people control in actually. Okay, so that's why it say how many pattern is use a lot of Fibonacci. Okay, if you see a lot of you know there there will be a lot of Fibonacci line up together, that will be um PRC zone. Okay. Any question guys? Okay, now I'm going to move to another um another pattern. Okay, we study or oh, we already say bad uh, alternate bad, and then now is a butterfly. Why is saying reversal? Why is saying reversal? Because we how many pattern we are playing the reversal zone. Okay, because this is called um. 
Bullish. Batch. Alternate bet. Okay. Alternate bet. Alternate bet here. So basically, um, can I go back? Uh, I just did this just now. Okay. Okay, here. Why it's called PRC zone? Because when ending with the D point here, usually we will buy. Okay, these are the reversal. That's why we call reversal zone. Potential reversal zone. Okay, for the harmonic pattern strategy. Okay, usually the trader, they are wait for the um the D leg to complete. And then you know that, oh, this is like alternate back. So usually the D leg finish, okay, they, then they will place the buy order here. Okay, so it's the, somewhere like this. Let me show you the slide here. Can you see? Ah, okay, this is a bad right just now. Okay, this is a bearish. The D, the D, the D leg is finished and then we will, you know, um, sell from here. So somewhere here going to be a PRC zone like somewhere around here okay that would be either feeble confident or your site here gonna be either like um uh um resistant level or that could be um that could be uh, uh what it's called demand or supply zone yeah so somewhere here okay that will be something that call um PRC zone here. That's why it's a bearish. So ending with D point, then you sell. Okay. And then for the bullish bet, you finish the D leg and then you're going to buy from somewhere here. Okay. That's why they say, I say uh, how many pattern we pray for the reversal. Okay. And uh, uh, and uh, elite web for elite web you to pay the continue continuation of the trend. Okay. This is how you pray. Okay, so this is alternate bet. That, that, that's why just now I say, okay, D leg finish, you put the um sale order up by order somewhere here. The D leg finish, you sell. Okay. And now, hmm. why I cannot. Hang. My. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to move to the um, bellish, oh, not bellish, sorry, um, butterfly, okay, the butterfly, okay, let me copy, okay, so now I just, Okay, so now the rule for the harmonic pattern for butterfly, I will move here and this one call, they say that B point, you usually need to use the B point. Okay, here and here. Retrace 78.6%, which is here, okay. So, yeah. Okay, so the B point retrace. 70.6% of XA and C should retrace between 38 to 88.6% of AB. A, B here. And you pull out of it. Okay, let me remove this one. Okay. So basically, anywhere between this zone, C can retrace. Can be here, can be here, or can be here, but cannot go above seventy point six percent. Okay, in this case, I just put um sixty one point eight percent. Okay, still be in the zone, right? And here they say that um how you get the D leg is an extension of X A. Okay, so X and A 
extension which is 127 to 61.8% which is here. So what does this mean? D can ending with anywhere anywhere between this box, okay, or up to here. And then they say that also you can use um uh protection or you can use I will use the extension in this case, okay. We see extension of the butterfly. Okay, what you can see here. This is our PRC zone here. Because this level we have to one to seven point twenty, and then we have two percent here extension. So here is your PRC zone, okay? Here your PRC zone here. So when the price came down, and then you will put the buy order over here. You get get what I mean? Yeah, you guys get what I mean so far? Okay, so um, this is called bullish butterfly. Okay, and um, belly butterfly same is just a builder of the um, this pattern. Okay, so far, okay. Okay, now I'm moving to clap. Pattern. Okay. Oh, um, here. Okay. What does this mean over here? If you guys are take notes, right? Usually, C point is mostly they will retrace between thirty eight to eighty eight point six percent, right? What you can see here. That means C cannot go above A. This is the rule here. Or we cannot go above A. Okay. The highest one they go is 88.6%. You will get a C leg. Okay. In this case, for the um cap pattern, bullish. Okay. D point retrace between what do you say that? 38 to which is here. This is the could retrace 38.250 or 61 cannot go below here. Okay, so in this case, I just would maybe somewhere like here between 50 to 0.6%. Then you get the lead, D leg, uh, B leg, right? Okay, remove and C point. You can hear X, A, and C between again. It should be somewhere here up to here. Okay, let me see where it might eight eight point six. Okay, exact somewhere here. Okay, then you get the D point here. Oh. I remove. Okay. Get D and what's about the D leg? Okay, <clears throat> in this case, extension X A, the only one number which is 61.8 percent, which is here. Let's just say it's here, and then somewhere here. How are we going to find PRC zone? Okay, you can use the extension of BC extension here to here, which is. BC extension of um crab. Okay, here so between delete okay two to four sixty okay here I think that would be let me find the Confluence zone again. Okay. 
I will put at 50 percent here. Wait, here you get a Z point, right? Okay, and then XA again is 61.8 percent, and BC extension. BC extension. This one is crap, right? Uh, here. I think that will be. Let me see. Uh, okay. Because I don't know why I cannot find. The number here. So basically, over here they say, um, if B retrace, okay, they need to retrace. Let I just put uh thirty eight point two. Okay, let's just say I put thirty eight point two is here. Point two and of the say point six. CD should be 2, 2 for extension. Why well, cannot find the, the leg? Okay, let me. It is why I delete A, B, C. Extension, I think we will use projection here. Yeah, there will be a projection, not extension. There will be 2, 2, 2, 4. Two two four with my two two four. Two two four. Okay. And one six eight. Okay. So I I can um this one uh I will use projection, yeah. Let me share. projection bz okay so basically that will be wrong okay that will be projection i use a projection okay that will be projection so this is our prc zone here this is our prc zone okay that's why I say PLC zone actually is all like, a, you know, you find the extension and then you use either protection or extension and then you get a PLC zone here. Let's say you want to use the extension, BC extension over here. I think this one should be um, 400 extension from here to here. You see? Extension. Yeah, this one. If you want to draw it, uh, like extension, like BC extension, and then what you can see here, you have 161.8, 224%, and 427.2%. 400, so this is your PRC zone. So a lot of people confer in actually, and then you will press the um like the buy order from here, from this zone. Okay. Um can apply this small time frame one minute time frame i don't think so okay for how many pattern one minute time frame i don't think you you can but i don't really think that you can find the um the harmonic pattern okay i think better you use like h1 or h4 or maybe m uh, m30 if you can find okay but usually i will see harmonic pattern h1 h4 or maybe daily time frame Okay. Any questions so far, guys? Um, I will see. I will see that like if there is any question or anything I miss. Okay. So far, no. All right. And now let's just move to deep clap. Okay, the deep clap. What does it mean? Deep clap. This is the rule. Okay copy 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, the deep clap actually is uh, almost similar, right? It's just that the B have to retrace x point six percent here. Okay, here. And then the BC extension is like 200, for, 200 to uh, 361 per 8 percent. So basically, I will draw for you here. Okay, you get the D point. They say retrace. I will put x point six percent. Actually, it to be x point six percent, not between. Okay, that will be wrong. D point here. B. Okay, and then um the C point is still the same. It can retrace between or fifth right between from here to here. Between it should be somewhere here. Uh, up to here. Okay. Oh, for the D one. So in this case, it's a point somewhere here. Okay. De delete this. And how you get the D? How you get the D point? The D point over here. I think I just move this one a bit. Okay, how you get the D point is XA extension, XA, then 161.8. Okay, it's over here, and you can use extension, BC extension, 200. This, um, this one is the um, deep clap. Here, so this is your PRC zone 200 to 361.8% BC extension. So, this is your PRC zone here. Okay, this is your PRC zone. Where is my PRC zone? In this box, okay. So, when the price came down. Is here. Okay, now maybe I will I will, I will I will do this a bullish, right? Maybe let me try to do the bearish. Okay, actually it's the same. Okay, let me just try to you can get the idea. Okay, so basically the just now x below, so now x above. Um yeah, let me see. What is this? Okay. Okay, X, A, B, C, D. Okay, this is an X here. X, X, um, A, B. and then D so now I will do version the um, this one called um, bellish okay this is um, bellish deep clap Okay, so over here they say that, okay, you just the middle of the bullish only. You draw people from here to here. They say that retrace x point six percent right? So here you get the D point. Here. And then how you get the D, C point here? Actually from A to B. And then you all fit both. Okay, and then there is a zone which is 38 to... Sorry. Oh. Yeah. 38 to um eighty eight point six percent. I my eighty eight point six should be 
click here. So it's this one. So either you can go up to here or you can go up to here or anywhere. It's okay. It cannot go below A, right? And how you get the D point is a XA is 161 extension, which is here. Okay, that will go away from there. And then, or now we want to find PRC zone, right? Or potential reversal zone, there will be a lot of people confident. Basically, you can use extension BC extension here. I already have my template BC extension for deep clap. Okay, maybe I make a bit um extend to the right. Okay, then you guys can see. Oh, that's too far. I don't want. Okay, I just put somewhere like that. Basically, here is your PRC zone here. Okay, here your PRC zone. We have two hundred percent. Actually, um, it's a percent. Yeah, I just did not put the percentage. I could you can put value, or you can put like percentage. It two. 100%, 224, 241, 61, and all above is um, uh, 361.8%. Okay, so if you want to put the percentage it's up to you, or you don't, you can put value, also can. Okay, you can do the adjustment. So this is a, so when the price come here, we call PRC zone, right? Then you will sell from this zone. Okay, this is called PRC zone, all right? What is 361.8? It's an extension, 361.8%, which is up there, there. It depends, like, if you ask me why it's there, because it depends um, where is the C point is ending, okay? Sometimes the uh, C point is only retraced. Um, the C point could... No, uh, I think that's wrong. Okay, let me do again. In this case, this depend on what is the, the C point ending. Okay, that sometimes they might could be in here because you have 38.2 to 88.6. Let's say what about the ending here, right? Okay, let me show you. And then your C point here. What's about the D point? They say that. Extension XA is 161 here. Okay. What about BC extension? Uh, this is a deep clap, right? I'm getting blur. Yeah. Okay. You see? Here. That's why this is your PRC zone. Oh, wait. I want to show the 161. Okay, so here, right? So this is your PRC zone here. Like I say, it depends what is the C point detrace. Okay, they can detrace only 38 and then you will get somewhere the number here. I mean, for this number will be changed, but for the extension XA, it's always 161.8. But if you use the extension, that could be um whatever, depend on the C uh, uh, C point retrace. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so go from here and then you sell. All right. Okay, this is a um bearish um bearish clap. Okay, clap. So now we're done with clap and then we go to um. Do we still have time? Okay. I will go, I still have one more, which is Gatle. Okay, these are the last pattern. Okay, this is a Gatle. Okay. Okay, here. Okay, so I will just use um bellish, okay? So this is bellish um, Gatle. Am I correct? Uh, okay, so so this is a bearish gallery. 
So over here, they say B power should be trace 61.8 percent. It's really straightforward. So X A B power is 61.8 percent, and it's only one number here. Okay, and what about the C? Like they say C. You get the C leg like um A B and Retrace 38.6% to 88 in this case, I just put uh, maybe 61.8% and then you get the C, pop, the C leg here. Okay, and what's about the D? D leg is only retrace 78.6% here. Here. Okay, here, here only. 78.6%, then you get the D leg, okay? And you can do extension of BC, extension, which is BC extension here, you get, okay, so what your your um PRC? It's just now it's 78.6%, right? Okay, so I zoom for you to see. Your PRC is this, this one could be this one, okay, this one, because we do have, if I want to use another projection, I could because I want to find a lot of our confidence zone here, okay. So this, my um reversal zone, okay, let me remove, okay, so here we do have, 78.6% in this case, I will choose this, okay? And 61.8% extension. So this is your PRC zone here. When the price come here and then you sell. Okay, guys. Okay, so I think already I'm um, done with the uh, harmonic pattern. Okay, guys. Um, any questions so far? Yeah, I will. Uh, I will do a quick um TA for the goal. Okay. Where is my goal? Because I have my position on goal. Actually, <laughs> I also want to see. Okay. Any um. You guys don't have any question, right? So far, so far, you guys understand about how many pattern? Um, oh, good. I have a sale. I have a sale position. I will tell you why I put the enter there. Okay, I have a sale position. I already got it. Okay, so far I hope you guys learn some learning something. All right, so now I will tell you I have a sale position at the. Now I'm running in profit already. I'm waiting to hit my TP. I enter at the um, where is my entry for go? Let me see. One nineteen eighty one. Okay, I put nineteen eighty one. Why is my sale? Okay, so basically. I go to the lower time frame, which is H1, okay. In H1, I use the protection here. Uh, not protection, sorry, FIBO, uh, FIBO, FIBO uh, retracement. So actually, this is my zone to sell, okay. This is my zone to sell. Why I choose here? Because... If you were to look at the H1, right? Look at market structures. Price is maybe from here, make a higher high. Uh, this is not, I put this high, high. Maybe uh, up to here, the low here, and then the high. And then price is, you guys, I teach you guys about how to trade QM, cost model trading strategies. Like whatever, uh, I, I'm not sure whether I teach already, but you know, price is break this 
low. This one is like shade of my character here. You see? So it's called QM. You know go knows about QM? Like QM. QM uh trading strategy. You guys know? Uh let me see, show you guys. I think I'm not sure that I teach you guys already, but if not, I think I'll be teaching uh QM. QM trading uh it look like this. Um Horsey model. Okay, actually it's QM it stands for you guys can uh Google if you want to, okay? Q U A S. But if you want me to teach, I will be doing maybe next section or uh customer trading. Uh, okay, so they call QM. Usually I just say QM. Okay, so now what do you see? When the price break this low, okay, the pullback, so this is my sales zone. Okay, and then I saw that this has a supply zone over here. And then this could be my, um the like the lip. This could be my uh left shoulder. Oh, sorry, left, not right. Uh, left okay and then this is the head here okay and then i'm waiting for pride to come and then this is my right shoulder here okay this is my right shoulder then i'm using fibo then i see that okay then price is make a higher high, higher low, and then after that price could not make a higher high. Okay, they make a lower low. Now they make a lower low, lower high. Okay, they make this low, and then I wait for price to pull back to my somewhere maybe left so uh shoulder over here, which is have sixty one between fifty and sixty one point eight percent. That's why I'm sell as um one 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 nine eighty one something. Okay, and then now price is reversed already. Okay, where is my TP? My TP is all the way below. Okay. And um, I think I'm going to launch. Uh, maybe you guys can help me what? All right. So now what is my um uh, view of gold? Okay, since I already got the sale uh, position here. So now let's look at the H4. So basically, if I were to draw um, support and resistance somewhere here, here should be my like resistance over here. But I think this morning they come to almost this week. If you were to zoom in in H4, they're almost hitting this week. And then they go up first, okay. And now I think that today we don't have any major news, right? I think they're still like uh, selling from this level because what you can see in H4, price could not go above this uh, body candle, okay. If you were to just highlight like this a week or maybe like get stop out like just last Friday, right? One one, um, like one one nine seven, and after that price is to just come back to the um like here resistance level here for h4 like it could be first resistance h4 right and if you would ask me this could be the um support level here okay like i say i get this order because of this pattern okay Okay, guys. Uh, any questions so far? Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Okay, appreciate that. If you guys want to learn about the like cost in middle trading strategy or the short term is a QM, okay, I can uh maybe bring this section for you and then maybe teaching you guys for the next uh maybe next section or next time. But they're gonna be. That's gonna be soon if you guys want to learn, okay? Because sometimes 
uh, it's not really difficult if you know how to look at market structure and then you know the rule how to trade the cost model uh, strategy and then yeah I do I think I will bring that maybe to the next um to the next um session for you guys okay Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, I hope you guys learned something. Okay, appreciate that. Okay. Happy trading, guys. Take care. All right, see you again Uh, maybe next webinars. Bye for now, guys. Now I'm going to end, okay, here.